Malaysia wants to speed up the adoption of artificial intelligence to help transform the country into a high-income nation. As being at the launch of the National Artificial Intelligence Office in Kuala Lumpur, Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim emphasised the need to create a robust digital ecosystem governed by strong by a strong regulatory framework. CNA's Melissa Go has all the details. Building an AI nation together now. The launch of the National AI Office at Malaysia International Trade and Exhibition Centre was witnessed by a large turnout of big tech companies, served as a driving force in aligning Malaysia's AI roadmap with global trends. Among the National AI Office's priorities are to come up with a regulatory framework on AI adoption and to speed up AI technology adaptation. Kalau kita tidak lakukan anjakan dengan Kepantasan yang luar biasa, kita akan tewas. Cita-cita kita akan hanya menjadi cita-cita di alam maya. Sebab itu, membina ekosistem digital yang kukuh itu satu kemestian. Now, Digital Minister Gobin Singh Dio, who's tasked to deliver the goals, said that he aims to release and code on ethics by the first quarter of next year, as well as an action plan to develop the talent pool. Now, while having the necessary infrastructure is important, driving AI adoption and unlocking its value and benefits are different things altogether, industry players say. It's a bit of that catch-22 situation. Like you can in invest in AI infrastructure like what we are investing right now with all the announcements that we've done so far. Right? Uh, but those technologies, those platforms, it's going to be grossly uh, underutilized unless uh, you invest in AI skilling. So I don't think they are mutually exclusive. Microsoft, he said, plans to train 800,000 Malaysians in AI skills by end of next year. Now, five other tech companies, YTL, Google, Amazon Web Services and Global AI Village, as well as Toshiba, are on board as strategic partners. Now, talent is key to unlocking the value of AI, and the public must be aware of the benefits as well as the risks. Now, what's for sure, there are lots that needs to be done before AI technologies can be deployed responsibly across the country. Melissa Go, CNA, Kuala Lumpur.